EgosRentasMentorsApproach.com. Thank you for visiting us and thank you for all the awesome emails we've been getting. Please like and share the videos and please uh, yeah, do share them with people that you think will find this of value with the current situation. So I'm jumping into an email today about career changes and uh, a lot of us are going through it. Like it's, it's one of those things and especially uh, with how the economy is moving and where we're at and technology and we're always trying to find something new. Uh, but the question is, when do you make that trip? to go on that wild road of changing a career. So jumping into the email, hi Nikos, great videos thus far. I'm wondering about making decisions on changing careers. I've been thinking about it for quite some time. I have a great career right now and things have gone well the last 10 years. However, I'm not happy as I used to be. And that's normal. Do not look at it from a bad way. Think of it as a good spot to be in. I find myself bringing it home and it is increasingly evident with the fights we have had with my wife. And that right there is a problem. You are you can't bring that home. You can't bring that into that field of lovingness because that lovingness will go down the drain. She has pushed me to start looking for a new job as she hears some of the stories from work. But I have started wondering if it is me more than the work as I love uh, I look for a new job. How do you tell when to make the move? Is there something that you advise people in my situation? When we look at current situation with what's happening at work, we look at things that you just said there, uh, stories that she hears from work. So you come home and you go, so-and-so did this. What a fucking idiot. So-and-so did that. Oh, you pissed me off. Oh, I got ridden up. Oh, I was doing my job and then we're in the meeting and then this guy embarrassed me. Or I get the stupidest fucking questions from people. I can't stand it anymore. I'm training somebody and they're asking me stupid. I can't believe they hired this person. And you're bringing that home. Well, yeah, that's a negative environment to be in for your wife. Because she doesn't see you happy and she loves you. So she wants to see what she could do to help you get out of that zone. If you're coming home and you're not happy, it is time for change. You either change that environment you're in or change the environment. You've heard this in many videos and many places. So when you're looking, like when you're going through this process and you're saying it's more me, well, what is it that is you? You got to do that analysis on your own. Uh, on a coach call, what we would do is analyze what is actually upsetting you. What's actually happening inside that's making you uh, feel this way? Is it somebody at work? Is it what the work is? Are you bored? Most people are bored. Most people that call us on career changes They've spent the time, they, they don't see that advancement coming soon enough, and they're like, how do I jump through and go to the next stages in life? And that's, that's a challenge, because now you're looking at it and saying, okay, my life is great, I'm not happy, but why? And you go on that spiritual route to figure out what's, not, what's missing. So, what do I advise people? Is to make a list of, what they like and what they don't like what's actually happening and then look at it from that perspective of you know what is common go get a whiteboard and not, not whiteboard you write down all the emotions you have all the scenarios that come up and generalize them so that you see that environment that you're in is it the environment is it you not feeling you want to do the same career anymore and you know there, there could be many different things and that you got to touch up on that on your own Whoever you get coaching from and or, or, or advice from, they need to know that you're doing something because you figured out where you're headed and they should be able to pull that out of you and figure out exactly what it is. In your situation right now from the brief email, it seems that you know, you, you're coming home, you're complaining about the environment there and it's not really your career. So find another career, uh, another job in your career where you're actually happy in that environment. Example, we had a client and it's, you know, it's one of those things where you've been somewhere for a long time. It's a big corporation. He feels like he's nobody there. All the work he does, he just feels like, oh, okay, I'm replaceable. Nobody can do what I'm doing. It's hard to find somebody. That's why I'm still here, really. And we, we just sat there and we're like, are you that good? And he's like, yes. Okay, so if you're that good, what makes you think staying in that company feeling that way is any benefit to you? Because if you're that good and what you do is rare, then you should be able to go to another company in a better environment and land that job there because then definitely somebody else is looking for somebody better. 
and his viewpoint changed. And all of a sudden, within a six month period, he went he, he went to a smaller size company that paid him way more and the environment was phenomenal. He could come into work whenever he wanted. That was one of his biggest things. He, he, he was able to call in and be like, I'm gonna be there at 11 because I wanna go to the gym. And they were like, great, go to the gym. The corporation, oh, you gotta be here at eight o'clock. You gotta be stay until five. If we need you to stay till nine, you're gonna stay till nine. We don't care if you have a wife, if you have kids, if you have like medical issues, we don't care. And, that's, and that was uh, his biggest problem. It wasn't the career, but in his mindset, he, you know, he was miserable. So your, your question is always revolving around, okay, this career thing, or is it the environment? And if it is the environment, what environment do you want to get into? And then actively apply to places where the environment is great. So then when you sit in the interview, it, it, it's the greatest feeling that you have this awesome position and then somebody is interviewing you. And instead of you being this needy, have to land this job, now you're sitting in an interview going, Show me that environment. Show me and prove to me that if I move over here, it's worth it for me because I don't need you. And it changes the whole dynamics of any kind of interview. And if you go out networking, you'll start meeting all these people that work in these uh, environments and they'll, you know, they'll pull you into that zone and all of a sudden you're talking with a, a higher up manager that's hiring and uh, you're, you're working there in maybe a year. It's all about meeting people and getting to understand what they're doing. Making that uh, the switch, the other side of it, is you know you, you have support from your wife. And I'm 100% certain if you go out and you find a job that uh, pays more or pays less, if it has more benefits or less, as long as you're happy, she'll be happy. Think about it for you and what you need to do in order to be happy. And as long as you find that, you'll find the whole world opening up and being lovely, lovely once again. So take a look at all that. If you need any help and you want to have a full hour of my attention, please uh, give, go on the website, mentorsapproach.com, uh, book an appointment, and we'll walk through all the different scenarios that you could be looking at and where to actively focus on. And my name is Nico Sorrentes, mentorsapproach.com. Thank you.